Okay, so this is going to be my update. This is actually one of the longest OLEDs I've had for a review. This is the uh, LG G7P. As you can see it right there. Now the TV overall, I've had it for uh, three months, I think. Something like three months. Anyhow, uh, the TV overall has been a great TV. I've had nothing but good things to say about it until um, I started having pixels go out. So, let me see if I can show you this. Now the pixel out is not something I've experienced before. They're actually in this area right here. And if you're not as picky as me, you probably wouldn't even realize it. But let's see if we can get it on camera. So, if you look very closely, you can see... Oh, this is going to be really hard to get on camera. Okay, so, right here, if you can see it, Okay, so it's not going to be possible. To, they're just too small. The camera is definitely not going to pick these up. Yeah, definitely not. You just have to take my word for it. There's three pixels. There's one here. There's one like right here. And then there's one like right here. The camera just doesn't see it. I could just get it really close. It's it's just too reflective. So you can't see it. But that being said, there's it's such a small pixel. You, like I said, you can't even tell. But that to me is a big deal. Because why? Because you don't buy a TV that's four or five thousand dollars and then the pixels go out on it now maybe it doesn't bother some people I don't know but for me it's a big deal but other than that like I said the TV's been great I'm actually luckily I don't own this TV but uh, if I did I would be extremely upset I'm looking to get a new a new TV to review here soon so if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Be looking forward to the new uh, LG TVs on my channel. And thanks for watching. Also, maybe let me know in the comments. I mean, you can't see it. Nobody else can see it. I have to literally point out each pixel that's out to somebody that looks at the TV. I mean, would it bother you? Just put it in the comments, maybe. I'm just curious to see what everybody else thinks because for me, it's a big deal. Alright, so I just wanted to add something real quick. I'm glad that this happened before I got to editing the last video. This is about uh, seven, eight days after I made the first clip that will be in this video. And I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I woke up in the morning and I turned on the TV and I'm 100% sure I had a timer on it. It was a 30 minute timer, fell asleep watching Star Trek you know like a loser but uh when i woke up and i turned on the tv this happened this is the g7 p 65 inch i wonder if the camera will pick this up or not so the camera doesn't really do it justice but with the but the whites have like a tint on them I uh, you can't really see it the camera just doesn't show it damn it let me try and let me X out of this. Let's see if you can see it. The camera just doesn't show it. The camera makes it look okay. But believe me, there is a tint over all of the bright whites. It's almost like a yellow. And for some reason, 
like the the menu the gray see it looks fine on the camera but the gray is just not quite right it looks more like chalky gray instead of like dark black like it used to be for some reason now I don't know why this is I've, I've even done the pixel refresh um, which that was time consuming but um, I'm not really sure why it did what it did now the only thing that I could think of is maybe that I didn't set a timer but I'm 100% sure and it literally stayed on a static image that might have been from the laptop but I don't know but I'm pretty sure I set a timer the TV was off when I woke up so that would make sense but uh, I don't know it's a good thing this one's moving out in a couple of days and the uh, E8's coming but I've had more trouble with the signature series than I did the E6 the E7 any of them which is strange but I thought I would add that